All right, so our first question here. What is the magnitude of the momentum of a 28G sparrow flying with a speed of 8.4 meters per second? All right, so what I like to do first when I'm answering a question is to uh, list out the variables that I'm given, which usually makes things a little bit easier for me to have everything listed out right from the start. So we we're all, right now, all we're given is that it has a mass of 28 grams and a speed of 8.4 meters per second. Now to calculate the momentum, uh, as stated in the chapter, the uh, momentum is given by uh, P, which represents the momentum, equals the mass of the object times the velocity. Though in this case, things are made a little bit easier on us, actually, because since uh, the, w the way the question's worded, it says with a speed of 8.4 rather than a velocity of 8.4, that means we're dealing with scalars here, so direction is not an issue here. But given the nature of the question, that probably wouldn't have mattered much anyway. So if we substitute our value in for 28g, uh, for m, this won't work because in the formula, mass is written in uh, kilograms here when we're only given the value in grams. So here we'd have to divide that by a thousand as there are 28 grams in it, or there, there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. So to convert from grams to kilogram, we're going to divide by a thousand here, or just simply move the decimal point over three spots. To get point zero two eight kilograms. Now we can plug that into this here to say uh, point zero two eight kg times uh, the, the velocity, which is written in meters per second. So that's good. Uh, multiply them together. It, without your calculator to do the uh, multiplication there, and that would give you an exact value of 0 0.2352 is the value my calculator is getting me, which is a little too specific, not technically a scientifically accurate answer to give, because we're being too precise here in our measurements. So I'm going to round it down to a uh, to the correct proper number of significant figures. Um, which, uh, that would be three sig fig, or, no, sorry, there would be two sig figs to properly round here. So I'm going to rewrite it as 0 0.24, rounding to this spot right here. So, uh, so then the correct unit for momentum in this case is kilogram meters per second. So I'm going to write that out here, and that is our final answer.